Welcome to Saturday Morning Prayer. You'll find that on page 419 of an Australian prayer book and the psalm number 140 will be found on page 371 of an Australian prayer book. In the name of the living God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. God has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bless the Lord, all created things, who, who is worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Bless the Lord, all people of the earth, who is worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. O people of God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, all you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, who is worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice, in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. The Psalm 140 on page 371. Deliver me, O Lord, from evil doers and preserve me from the violent. Who devise mischief in their hearts, who stir up enmity day by day. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent's, and the venom of asps is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the power of the wicked. The arrogant have laid a snare for me, and rogues have stretched the net. They have set traps along my way. But I have said to the Lord, you are my God. Hear, O Lord, the voice of my pleading. O Lord, my God, and my sure stronghold, you have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not fulfil, O Lord, the desire of the wicked, nor further the evil that they have devised. Let not those that beset me lift their heads, but let the mischief that is on their lips, bury them. Let hot burning coals be poured upon them. Let them be plunged into that miry pit from which they shall never rise. Let no one of evil tongue find footing in the land, the evil, the violent. Let them be hunted to the end. I know that the Lord will work justice for the oppressed, and write judgments for the poor. Surely the righteous shall have cause to praise your name, and the just shall dwell in your sight. Glory, Glory to God, God Father, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as in the, the beginning, beginning, so now, now and, and forever. Ever. Amen. Amen. And we pray, as we rejoice, Creator God, whose praise and power are proclaimed by the whole creation. Receive our morning prayers, we pray, and renew us in your service. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13, beginning at verse 42. As Paul and Barnabas were going out, 
the people urged them to speak about these things again the next Sabbath. When the meeting of the synagogue broke up, many Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who spoke to them and urged them to continue in the grace of God. The next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. But when the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and blaspheming. They contradicted what was spoken by Paul. Then both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly, saying, It was necessary that the word of God should be spoken first to you. Since you reject it and judge yourselves to be unworthy of eternal life, we are now turning to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, saying, I have set you to be a light for the Gentiles, so that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and praised the word of the Lord, and as many as had been destined for eternal life became believers. Thus the word of the Lord spread throughout the region. But the Jews incited the devout women of high standing and the leading men of the city and stirred up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and drove them out of their region. So they shook the dust off their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. May your word live in us. And bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For it pleased God that in him all fullness should dwell, and through him all things be reconciled to himself. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our collect for today, Almighty, and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray, and give more than either we desire or deserve. Pour down upon us the abundance of your mercy, for giving us those things of which our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask save through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We offer prayer on this morning for all your people, wherever they may be. We pray for all those who are struggling today with loneliness or sickness, with war 
poverty or persecution. And we pray for refugees and people everywhere trying to fend for their children and families. We pray for those who are sick, especially those coping with COVID-19. We pray for our Bishop, Peter, for Bishops Sonia and Charlie, for our leaders in the nation and state and in our city of Newcastle. We pray for the clergy and people of the parishes of Adamstown, of All Saints Anew, Cameron Park, Georgetown and Micah Ministries, the staff, students and their families, and the school chaplains of Scone Grammar School. Hear our prayers, Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this new day. Keep us by your mighty power. Protect us from sin. Guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, Keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen.